Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I'll be um, uh, discussing the role of Clarin in upskills, but uh, in addition to our role in upskills, uh, which is a well-defined project with uh, wonderful uh, project partners, I also want to touch uh, upon the motivation for Clarin in the first place to want to be a member of this wonderful consortium. Um, we have been increasingly um, feeling the need within the Clarin network um, to do more uh, on the field uh, of empowering user communities uh, that uh, we are serving with the required knowledge, skills, and competencies in using our services, tools, and data uh, throughout the research life cycle. Um, we wanted to um, raise the awareness of research infrastructures in general and the Clarin research infrastructure in particular. Um, we already have um, quite a good uh, record uh, the, uh, of supporting training and education for the um, linguistic part of the community in uh, many European countries. And we have already in the past years have been um, a solid supporter and a stable supporter of all the major summer schools in uh, the field of computational linguistics and digital humanities. But uh, what the Upskills project um, is making it possible is to uh, consolidate what we uh, have available and to um, develop additional materials uh, for the gaps that we identify uh, that can contribute to uh, better training of future language data professionals. Uh, within the Upskills project, we have conducted a preliminary survey uh, through which we have uh, identified a very big need for uh, further integration of Clarin into the curricula on a formal level, as well as uh, just uh, in terms of content um, to support the training of such uh, profiles. And Maya will tell you more about the profile that we have identified. Um, Clarin has two tasks within the project. The first big task is to develop best practice guidelines on how to best integrate research infrastructures into teaching. Um, while we are interested uh, in this to reach all the relevant um, university programs that uh, Clarin is uh, supposed to support within the Upskills project because of the framing of the project itself, we are mostly focusing on the uh, language related study programs. We hope to be able to deliver this in the fall of the coming year. Um, and the uh, target audience uh, that we would like to uh, address with the guidelines are basically everyone who is involved in uh, teaching. Uh, let it be lecturers, uh, trainers, curriculum designers, and teaching assistants. Um, we want to be able to do this uh, by first analyzing uh, insights from other related uh, projects in the field of social sciences and humanities, as well as previous um, surveys that Clarin and Upskills uh, team members have conducted. And then uh, based on uh, the identified uh, bottlenecks and gaps, we would like to uh, come up with a strategy to upline the upskill competence uh, profile with the main all, uh, knowledge areas of uh, the uh, Clarin community um, that is uh, using services, tools, and uh, the training materials that are already out, uh, out there for the Clarin content. Um, by developing the guidelines, um, we would like to provide um, sort of instructions or recipes uh, for lecturers and uh, curriculum designers uh, to be able to develop uh, teaching materials and plan their lessons, uh, be it individual lessons or full courses on um, 
the full cycle of uh, um, data collection, annotation, encoding, licensing, and depositing. Uh, but also, we would like to be able to uh, offer guidelines on how to best uh, uh, look for and identify existing resources, tools, and services uh, to be reused by students. Um, the results of our work um, in this early stage will be discussed at uh, the cafe today, but we are also planning um, focused workshops uh, for uh, lectures where we will be presenting and discussing the finalized guidelines uh, in the fall of the coming year, so uh, stay tuned for that. The second task that uh, major task that we are involved in is um, the development of actual uh, learning content. Um, this is supposed to um, be appropriate for about five to uh, six ECTS. Uh, and in terms of topics, we will be uh, responsible for two broad uh, topics. Uh, one is uh, learning content for text and speech processing, and the other one is uh, learning content for language data standards and repositories. Uh, this is the more uh, generic um, uh, topic, so I will tackle it first. Um, we would like to um, develop sample uh, learning materials uh, that show uh, or um, directly use existing language resources and tools um, that also teach how to develop new ones uh, following the FAIR principles and GDPR. But we would also like to offer learning content on the general topics such as uh, data management standards, licensing, depositing of new resources and tools. Uh, and this will be handled centrally by Juliana van der Leek, our uh, training officer. And the more uh, specific topic on training materials for text and speech processing, this will be developed by uh, our colleagues from Radboud University, Hank van den Heuvel and Louis Stenbosch. Uh, and they will be focusing specifically on post alignment and ASR, automatic speech recognition. Uh, the deadline for this is as well uh, fall of the coming year. And our approach uh, that we have uh, decided to go for is to first identify existing training content uh, and somehow see what needs to be adapted so that it can be used within the upskills project. Um, then we also want to identify uh, content that could be suitable to um, turn into uh, gamified uh, learning content because this is uh, one of the major focuses of the upskills project. Um, we would also like to define the learning outcomes uh, that the uh, learning content um, is supposed to uh, deliver or support, as well as uh, the strategies uh, to assess the acquisition of this knowledge uh, in the end for the students. Um, next, uh, our task is to um, select the materials and content formats and activities uh, that are suitable for this content um, and then uh, to pilot uh, and evaluate the content that we developed and adapt wh wherever needed. Um, so uh, to summarize, basically, uh, we would like to draft outlines uh, for both guidelines and uh, learning content. Uh, and we are using today's cafe to basically collect feedback and input from the community, which is you, on this early uh, draft that we have prepared so far. Then we would like to fully write up the guidelines and uh, develop the learning content, after which we will again uh, reach out to you for piloting and uh, adaptation uh, suggestions. We will, of course, uh, publish the content and then also uh, track their use uh, within our community, as well as try and get feedback on uh, 
the benefits uh, that we can um, obtain using these uh, materials. Uh, in the future, and this is uh, the afterlife of the upskills itself, we would like to uh, make sure that the training materials can be continuously improved, as well as en enriched with contribution from others, uh, such as you and your colleagues. That's it from me.